Michigan center Cesar Ruiz, a true junior coming out, the third ranked interior offensive lineman on PFF's draft board. But if you're talking about pure centers in the draft class, he is right at the top of our list. Let's get into the pros. He's been a two year starter for the Michigan Wolverines. And this past season, he only allowed 10 pressures all year long in pass protection. That led to an 86.5 pass blocking grade. And the thing is, as a true junior coming out, he's young. Doesn't even turn 21 until after the draft this year. He also has some experience at guard back from his freshman year at Michigan. So he has the size to play basically any sort of position you want him to on the interior. And two things I love about his game more than anything else, his hands are fantastic and they're 11 inches. He has massive hands. The fact that he's able to vice grip guys, you think it will translate when someone has that big of hands. And he didn't have a single, what we call loss on contact all year long. The the plays on tape as an offensive lineman that get the lowest grade, he didn't have one. That is very impressive. You look at some of the other guys in this draft class, a guy like Lloyd Cushenberry, the LSU center, he had six. That's just something that means you're under control Every snap after snap, your hand placement is consistent. That sort of thing we love to see. And as young as he is, being able to execute at that high level is, again, just another tick box in his favor. But there are some cons. Let's get to those. He's not overly physical and overly powerful, despite being a little bit bigger of a center. Around 320 pounds, he's not necessarily a line of scrimmage mover. He's more of a block controller. That's obviously could improve as he gets older, as he, you know, his body even develops more physically. But he's not quite yet that guy like some of the other, uh, you know, interior office linemen are in this class. He's not, he's not super agile either. He's, he's doesn't not going to wow you ever really athletically, but he is very under control. The majority of his pressures this season did come from being slow to react to stunts. That's one thing that shows up consistently on his tape, his awareness in that regard. It's a big part of playing center. It's not all one-on-one blocking. Sometimes you're going to have to clean up for some other guy. And we saw that being an issue for him at times on his tape. So let's get to the NFL comp and it's Marquise Pouncey, the Pittsburgh Steelers center. And the one thing that I I love about Marquise Pouncey's game and why, yes, we haven't graded him terribly highly. He hasn't been the consistent sort of all pro uh, that he's been rated by the national media for us. But one of the things he does is when he loses, he still loses ugly. Like he does not, uh, he will not have those minus 1.5s on this tape. He'll get walked back into your quarterback every now and then, but he will fight to the end of every rep. His balance is fantastic to me. That is going to be Cesar Ruiz for you. May not necessarily have those wow reps, but he will be consistent. So the bottom line is to be as good as he is, as young as Cesar Ruiz is, not even 21 years old yet, I think you're getting one of the best interior offense linemen in this class. And if you need a center, this is your guy. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.